shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. They are Samadina, Rick Hemingway, Charlene Kelly, Yumi, Madlow, I Am Beast, mds 84 za Justin Rice, Killer Bunny 264, Ozzy Pozzy, Kone 76, Onakian, Belako, Steve Jacques, Iron Man, Pierce Ramsey, Nathan V, Zareel, Autogasm, Amy, and Hakaba. To join them, check out the links in the description down below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Where's UK Mod. So, um, yeah, another trader. <laughs> I, I want to quickly go by all the traders and just accept quests, but look at all these multi-traders. Damn. Wherever we want to live, I want to make sure we only go for like the closest ones around us. So say, for example, we lived over here. We go for these, 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 these. Not all of these at the back of here. Uh, just to keep some order going. So we have an open trade routes over here. Uh, there's definitely going to be some dogs over here again because this is the same PRI as the last one. I wonder if I can actually stealth all of them. Oh, there's no arrows in this one. I haven't used this bow yet. You be careful because there's dogs all over. Usually there's like five or six dogs in this PUI. As long as we can stealth them quickly, we don't have to worry about us getting overrun. But at the same time, doing this takes a while. Oh, I also need to remember to take back the arrows. And loot them. All of the blood that we get from this is really going to come in handy later. I hope. Oh, the last one we had last episode, I forgot to actually check for the ammo pile. There's actually an ammo pile. Inside the water. And you can see there's this thing over here, there's that thing over there, and there's an ammo pile in the water somewhere. Oh, so many dogs. Bound to be another dog on that side as well. Okay, there might be another one inside the building, but I doubt it. Oh, nope. There is. Crap. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the uh, last one, because it was like the end of the episode, I didn't even check for these. But these are all basically just working uh, workbenches. HD workbenches, working from the start. Now grab that. These are already looted. If I could just really go to all the traders and accept jobs for them, the rat bike should be done by the time we get back. I still have to make the rat bike itself. I was only making the parts. But the vehicle itself shouldn't take too long to craft. Where's that ammo pile? There's definitely one in the water over here somewhere. There you go. Sometimes it's a bigger one, sometimes it's a smaller one. In this case it was small. But hey, at least it's something. Yeah, I need to be careful. Every time I hear zombie noises, they might be inside already. In this case, they're still outside, but they might have been inside. I okay, knew you hello, 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 hello. So let's see. We're gonna go for jobs first. We have to go to the east. East or north? It's west. There's going to be these pure eyes around us. I want to go there, to that city. So it has to be east or north. I think if there's no quest east or north, we don't do quests for that trader that day. We want to have them all more or less in the same uh, direction. That's also going to make sure that we don't get too many quests at a time. If that's our requirements or our criteria, we have to go east or north. Air supplies. A little, a little predicament. Could you? Thank you. See, this is still, yeah, it's not in the city, but at least it's, yeah, it's by us. Uh, we do also have to check them every now and then. We have to get books. Tools. Technically, I need that. But for now... Cobble, 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 you? cobble, cobble. The moment we have 1,000 cobble, as soon as we have a, a, a found place with a rat bike, we can just go and set up shop over there. North, and physically, that's also the broken axe, so we can't do it there. I have a yep, okay, can't do it I'll there. Uh, buried else. supplies, we might be able to do that, but I don't know if we're going to be strong enough. We have the working Come stuff. You can do it. Would you kindly help me? Okay, well, that's... I'm hoping you don't have to wait until morning. Oh, I still have to see if I can't buy some cobble. I'm hoping you can't... You don't have to wait until uh, night time to do it. Depending on the mod you're playing, sometimes you don't... Oh, he's selling engines. Sometimes you don't have to wait uh, for the next day or the morning or whatever. Um, or the, uh, the evening to do great. So you can just do it whenever you're ready. If we're going to go do the, the nighttime... Star oh, generator quest time. right now you can go and do it. I mean it is a nighttime quest, but it's just so much safer during the daytime. 
Okay, let's Not see. Jungle Saloon, I don't have that one yet, as far as I'm aware. Everything you've done. Bubble, and then anything over here that we can sell. From the normal schematics. The other ones we can still turn into more stuff that we can combine. And safe travels, friend. Is this a... Just a wandering horde. Hello! Why oh, did you buy shotgun ammo? I just realized I'm running out of shotgun ammo right now and that's going to be bad for us. Okay, any ferals that come close to us, we'll take care of them. But the rest, I want to actually burn. Oh, there's a spider here somewhere. An actual spider. Hello! Oh, crap. We have to reload at the worst time. This is why I use up all my ammo. I want to burn them and I end up just shooting all of them. The nice thing is as long as I get them in a nice row, I hit most of them. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Sometimes it takes a little bit of work lining them up, but other times it's perfect. Hello, hello. Ooh. I need to actually work on my reload speed. So many times I'm, I'm caught with like a gun not reloaded and then I, I am screwed. Okay, so this one is done. Now we go for... I wonder if I should go for these two at the back. If I can go for these two because they're close to the forest and then just go up, up straight for that one and these three over here. But like I said, we don't want to have too many quests active at the time. And also I want to get back to the base to make the vehicle. The sooner we're back, the sooner we can make the rat bike. And then the sooner we make the rat bike, the sooner I can actually find a city. The first thing I'm going to do, th the moment I find a big city, is I'm going to uh, drive around the, uh, the city. Let me just show you guys this. I'm going to drive around the city with this distance in, uh, in mind. Because then that should show any uh, multi-traders and stuff on the map. Come on, come on, come on. Look how fast this vehicle is. It's not even the rat bike yet. I can't even imagine how fast the rat bike is going to be. Although, obviously, since it's faster, I wonder if there's an armor mod. Since it's faster, we're definitely going to hit more stuff. And if we hit more stuff, it's going to break. Like, really fast. Hello, doggy. Bye-bye, doggy. All prices are fair here. Oh, we already have a... Oh, we have already a quest for this, dude. I wonder if I shouldn't cancel it and accept a new one closer by. I think this is the one that's, like, all the way in the, the Thanks, anyway. desert biome. I think that's this one over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and say... No, but I, I don't know which is his job. Just now I cancelled the wrong one. I have to go all the way back. Wait, we have job for this one as well. I can't remember accepting jobs for these. I know we were at the trailer like this, like in the last episode or two. But I can't remember, I remember it being this one. Yeah, east, east, east. Pass and gas, yeah, why not? So... What are you buying today? East. I think I've got a job. Mushroom mining co. We don't have one there yet. Oh, XP elixirs. I definitely need that. Of the month. XP elixir. Thank you. I hope you get feeling better. Get lost, bum. Bum. Who's your bum? Okay, so no, we do that. Any special jobs? Open good. trade routes. Just we just came from there, so we'll do that later. And then I have to get a job from you. More customers like you. East, east, east. The Bennett you residence. Okay, all of these quests, house. we don't have anything there. Good luck, kid. I don't think there's a single quest. So look at that. Nice next to each other. I don't think that we have a single quest yet that's uh, overlapping with anything, which is awesome. Oh, I have to go there anyways to open trade routes. Okay. To accept the quest, now I can just all open trade routes. Oh, come on. What are the odds of the gun breaking as I'm about to shoot the dog? Okay, this is the only... Se this is the second NPC that I've seen so far. The only other NPC other than ours. So far, it's only been raiders and bandits and stuff the whole time, so it's kind of dangerous. Okay, I think the dogs are still not back. Let's just close that down. Probably repair my... Oh, it needs a special repair kit. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so jobs, east or north. Um, North is our town, right? Yeah, north is our town. So we either have to go north or we have to go east. 
jobs. Let's see. I could do a buried supplies, but that's still super dangerous. Let's go for a fetch and clear. Would you kindly help me? God oh, is that? Good luck. Oh, there's another town over there. Okay. It's not exactly where I want it to be, but at least it's it's close by. It's close enough. Pleasure doing business with How you. goes it? Okay, east, east. It has to be more southeast than anything I else. You, friend. I can't thank you. That's enough. definitely gonna be in the big city that we have all the other quests in. I should probably buy some uh, concrete mix as well. I've only been buying cobble, but I mean we can make our own concrete mix. We can make the cobble too. It's just it's faster and easier doing it this way. Southeast. I've got a job for some okay, laundry. I guess this All prices are fair here. Southeast. I've got just the Broken no Dreams House. What, I'm grateful for everything you've done. Oh, you Attitude. know. Good. To, uh, I'm glad to hear. I technically want to cancel the one quest over there and see if I can't find another one here. But I think the only other quest is over here by us. And then last one, we have to go over here. As soon as we've been there, we can finally go make a rat bike. I'm hoping it doesn't take too long. But while we wait, there is a tier 3 quest right next to our current base. So we can just quickly go, go over there and do that while we wait. Uh, this trader is definitely not safe right now. Oops, wrong tool. He keeps scrolling one too far. I want to go downstairs, but I can't afford to go downstairs. And there's still enemies up here. They're definitely going to interfere with my business. I'll have to make a weapon repair kit, but these weapon repair kits are so expensive. In 820, it cost me, I think, one HD gun oil. Now it costs you 10 HP gun oil per repair kit. Okay, we need to get jobs south, southeast. Something you like? A little, a little Animal hospital, brain. we don't have one there yet. It's so yet. awesome to get quests at different POIs. Yeah, oh, that was the fetch, nice. Uh, southeast, already have the animal hospital. Smith stone silos, we don't have that one yet. Just get the fuck out of here. Why are you always swearing, Rick? If you're uh, you get some soap. under the weather, I've got just what the doctor ordered. Okay, so what I need is resources, cobble. Thanks for letting me take care of you. Nope. Maybe next time I'll have what you need. Oh, I really have a quest for that. See, I have quests all over the map. I think those were quests that would like double yeah. at the same place. Great. So now I don't know exactly where they are because they're not showing properly. Southeast. Animal Hospital, no thank you. Have a safe journey. This is also going to be another time where we already have one quest. I wonder if I shouldn't do this. Well, alrighty, we already have Let's one quest there, so we can just as well do another one there as well. It's been a real okay, I think we've spoken you to all of them. Oh, airdrop. Hello, hello. Gonna go fetch that. Oh, no, you know what? Let's wait. Yeah, we're going to do the airdrop anyways. Let's first see if we can't put the vehicle in production. Oh wait, that's right behind my base anyways. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put the vehicle in production quickly. And then if it's uh, if it takes some time, at least we can go and do the fetch and we can do a quest or two while we wait for the vehicle to craft. It just makes sense. Okay, there's quite a few enemies around my base again. And every time I shoot one, I draw the attention of everyone. She's dead, right? Yeah. I'm gonna get smacked on the side and then she gives me a virus. Oh, this one's broken as well. Not good. To repair these are just so extremely insanely expensive right now. Do this. I want to use a Molotov. I want to do this quickly. Hit them in a nice big circle and then just throw one Molotov at them. Although some of them, like for example the experimental dude, won't die. Is way too much HP. We still help them out. Just drop the HP a bit. Oh, that got mad at me. Oh, hello. You were so hidden in your friends. I couldn't see you just now. That could have been severely dangerous for us. Oh, hello. I almost never notice when they drop stuff. And it's such a big surprise when they do. Okay, so do this, do this. Make a rat red. 
Two and a half minutes. Nice. So while we wait for that to craft, I can just really go and grab this. Don't even need my vehicle for this. It's right here. And then there's level three quest just across the road from us, or just a little bit more to the northeast. So we can do that while we wait for the rat bike to finish. Vehicle, boots. I can make the full protection boots right now. That's definitely going to help us some. And then we have some shotgun ammo. Although, no, that's not what we need. We need shotgun repair kits. I have to see, what would you need? I think you need like one shotgun piece as well to be able to make the repair kit. If I'm not mistaken. So, uh, we're just going to do some inventory management first. But, here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I need two shotgun parts to do one repair kit. That's insane. And then the HD oil as well. I think you need duct tape to make the HD oil. We're going to have to start skinning more animals because I haven't been doing that and we really, really, really need the parts. Uh, let's see if it comes to shotgun parts. We have auto gun parts. Okay, well, at least we have a ton of shotgun parts. But the HD oil is not going to be easy to get. Spring, forged iron. Springs over here. And then duct tape for the uh, duct tape and oil to make the HD ones. So do this, do this, do this, and oil. I already grabbed it, right? Did I put the oil in the right box? No, I didn't. About to say, why can't I see the oil? Okay, so now we just have to make HD oil. Huh? Oh, DH, HD. <laughs> uh, gun oil. One duct tape, you can make two. Okay, it's not too bad. You need five duct tape per repair kit, basically. Which is still kind of expensive. Damn. So if we make 20 for now, that should be enough for us. We're going to read this over here. Okay, so now while we wait for this to craft, I'm going to make the repair kit for the shotgun and for the auto machine gun. Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Uh, for this machine gun over here. And then I'm just going to put everything away. And then the rat bike should be done when we're done sorting over here. Okay, now that that's done, we can get our rat bike. There's still some enemies walking around out here, so we have to be careful of them. I'm busy making the repair kits now for my weapons. Oh, they're done already, so I can go and repair, repair, do this, and this. Okay, so at least we have our weapons back. Probably go and repair them, or uh, just reload them. Just in case we get attacked. <laughs> You don't want to have zero ammo. At least we do have ammo in there. But sometimes you have zero ammo left and you don't even realize it. Modify. One, two, three, and four. This rat bike is gonna fly. Okay, so now we can do this. I'm gonna put this one in here. In just in case we die, we have some place to come back to. Do this. Do this. Ooh, nice. This is gonna fly, guys. This vehicle's gonna be so fast, it's gonna be hard to keep track. Okay, so look at all these quests over here. I want to see, where, let's see where this road goes over here. We want to go around the city and then go to the next city, go around the city. If I can just make sure we get the outskirts of a town and then explore and get the outskirts of a town, we can then decide which one's bigger and we can go there and live there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm literally just going to drive around until I find something really awesome that I get you guys back. Also, should probably, uh, we can come back, right? I should probably be carrying around all the cobble and stuff. Whoa, you know what? By the time we come back, that's going to be finished. So I'll leave that for now, but we have 733 blocks. Plus these, we definitely have enough for a new base. So the moment we find a new place, I'm going to mark it, we're going to move there, and it's going to be awesome. Let's go. It's day 13, we have to be back by the time of the Horde. I think next episode we can do the Horde. So the Horde's going to be here, yeah, I still have to come and check for repairs. The Horde's going to be inside this base, and then after Horde night, we can actually go and move. Because at the new place, I'm going to make a whole home base slash Horde base all in one. And if I can find a POI to put my home base in, we only have to focus on making the board base. It's going to save us a lot of time. There's a trader over here. Yeah, we already knew about G uh, Joel. Let's go. Let's see how fast this vehicle actually gets. It starts off slow, but it builds, 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 builds out after a while you're just flying. It is already looking promising. I can see a massive city in the distance over there. So now we're just going to literally go around it all the way and then see if there's any more roads leading out. And we're going to keep doing this until I get a massive... Ma so I'm going to take a lot of... I'm going to cut away a lot. I'm going to be sitting here in my room a while. We have to drive and just basically scout the whole map. 
That way we can make a properly informed decision on where we want to live. The only thing that's also going to determine whether we want to live there is whether there's a ton of traders. Imagine there's no, there's like a massive, massive, massive city, but there's no multi-traders. That would suck. I have to say, the best vehicle when it comes to like quickly just driving over the map. And I'm not being, I don't talk about flying, I'm just talking about the driving right now. The best vehicle when it comes to that is this way, uh, this uh, rat bike. The worst vehicle when it comes to that is this rat bike. Look how slow. If you hit something, that's how slow it reverses. And then also, do you know how many times I've repaired this vehicle already? <laughs> because it's so fast, you literally, you can't turn tight, like tight corners. You just can't. And the moment you want to stop, you have to uh, press back, uh, back and um, space bar. And you have to make sure you're not pressing the, the shift key. And that's then, if you're lucky, you might not hit anything. We've seen this small town of here. There's a bigger city of here. I think our city is kind of still bigger. Uh, I'm going to keep on exploring now. We have passed one, one, two, three traders. And I noticed we actually passed a radiated zone of here. Now, these are POIs where you have to have um, hazmat clothing to be able to do them. So it's one of, uh, one of the tougher POIs to actually go and do. Okay, my vehicle's almost broken again, so I have to repair it. I have to make sure... How many repair kits do I have left? Three. Okay. So the next town that I get to, if I see a, a trader, because I've actually passed a few traders now as well, I should probably see if they don't have some repair kits for me, or at least iron, uh, forged iron and some duct tape. Because if this vehicle breaks, I have a problem. If it is about to explode, you can pick it up, and then, won't, uh, then it won't explode. Or you can just instantly repair it, and it won't explode. But if you don't have a repair kit and you can't pick it up for some reason because you have like loot or something inside, you're so screwed. Oh, please don't tell me this is radiated. I don't think so, right? No, I don't think the wasteland's radiated. It's just those red patches that are. So some certain high level POIs are still radiated. Oh, I just realized one of the traders we still actually have a quest all the way to the north. That one over there. And I think that's the Pentagon, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, now the question is, do I really... This is a small city. But would I really want to come live in the wasteland? It's so miserable and tough of here. It's it's definitely not going to be a good place to live. I want to see if we don't have some repair kits. Please have some repair kits. Holy shit! I thought you were a zombie. Nope. Okay, so forged iron. Nope. Duct tape. Nope. And repair kits. Also nope. That's unfortunate. Okay, we do have 21,000, so when we come across a trader, we have to well, check for some cobble as well. Right and pause learning elixir. I need to remember we have these. These learning elixirs are meant to be used. Okay, so, um, electrocutioner. Oh, I need double rewards. We'll work towards that. We need three more points, so two more levels. Because you get two skill points per level. So it's this one, and then... Oh, I need to level three times. I need to put points over here as well. I need those double rewards, and I have to make sure I'm wearing the right glasses when I do so. Yeah, I don't, I'm not a big fan of living in the wasteland because it's just... Sure, sometimes it can be tough. Other times it's just unnecessarily. Like, it, it's fun, but it's not super fun. It's just, a, it's just a way to make sure you always get overrun, always get to trouble. But it doesn't mean because you're in the wasteland that you're going get, to uh, get the best of experiences. Sometimes you get more boards and better loot. Well, the loot itself, that, that's the only thing about living in the wasteland. The loot stage is insanely high. But other than that, when it comes to like having fun, sometimes even the forest, the we weakest of all the biomes, is the most fun. On my server, uh, one of my members actually had... Oh, I'm almost out of it again. Uh, on my server, one of the members was in the forest with his horde base, and he had more zombies during a horde night than two of us put together in, say, for example, the desert. So, yeah, it's, sometimes it's the best, sometimes it doesn't matter at all. Okay, let's see what this trader of the Astra has. Books. Uh, I think there is an ammo pile of it. Oh yeah, you can loot these. So many mods you can't do it that I keep forgetting they can do it in this one. And then these should be lootable, but they're not as well. It's unfortunate. Okay, but these military caps. Okay. Yeah, ways you can loot everything, John. So remember to loot everything. But it's weird that these ammo caches of you have actually a cache inside them. Thank you, and let's see what you have. Soon the traders are going to close, so I won't be able to talk to them at all. And it's a shame that none of them have repair kits. I'm actually thinking of looking for a shotgun as well, and just buying a better shotgun. 
You have to wait to make a le better level shotgun. It's gonna take a while. Ooh, there's a multi trader over here in the wasteland. What kind of trader is he gonna be? You know what? Uh, let's just see. That's east. The, uh, the middle of the map's over there. So that's where, uh, my goal right now. It's just gonna keep on going. I, I don't think I'm gonna live in the wasteland because, it's just like I said, there's no point. And there's gonna be way too many raiders and stuff with guns. We are not strong enough for that. Thank you. At nighttime in the wasteland, you can even get like a ton of titans. And not only raiders with guns, but massive titans just roaming around freely. Burn. I was turning so sharp just now, but I didn't. Oh, I haven't seen this house in a long time. But yeah, that's how unwieldy this bike is just now. I was turning super sharp, but it just wasn't turning for me. Okay, this is bound to be a raider, right? I'm not even going to check. It might have been a friendly... But I am not going to take the time to check right now. My goal is to see if we can't go as east as possible. Because I want to see what's at the middle of the map. Zero, zero. Hello, Vault. Oh, my HP is low. No wonder. I was about to say, why is the Vault dive bombing me? Go, 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 go. I don't want bird flu right now. I think I do have healing for bird flu. But still, I don't want to get hit right now. So I'm going in the wrong direction. I need to go east. I want to see if there's a road that leads out, but we should probably first heal ourselves. That should be enough. Uh, there's a vulture over there. Okay, let's go. So I need to see if we can't get out this uh, city to the east, but th there's not a guarantee that's going to be actually a road over there. Is the e no, no, we have to go west, right? Yeah, we we are way too far east. Yeah, we're one... Okay, so we have to go this way. And hopefully there's actually a road that leads outside the town over that side. If it's south or north or something, it might still reach where we want it to reach, but it's not a guarantee. At least now with the HP max again, we don't have to worry too much. Come on. See, this vehicle is the best at escaping stuff, but at the same time, what's the point of escaping if you're going to drive into stuff and they're going to be able to get you anyways? Does this lead out? Please tell me it does. No, it's a dead end. Damn it. I'll just have to keep looking. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep on exploring over here. Um, so far we have found more um, cities, but all of them have been in the, the forest, so there's no point. I only have two repair kits left, so I have to be really, really careful with how I use this. Let's go. For those of you guys new to this mod, be careful of this pentagon. Sometimes it shows as a tier 1 quest, but it's not. <laughs> Back when there used to be like guppy animals and stuff as well, there used to be like guppy dogs all around, and on the inside as well, and then the roof and everything is just, it's swarming with enemies. Technically that's a tier 6 before tier 6 was even a thing. Now that tier 6 is a thing, that might even be like a tier 7 or 8. Well, it depends, because it's 821 it might be... It might be a little bit less than it used to be. Who knows? But I've seen that 821, they scale it way better as well. But you guys, I even checked the map render, uh, renderer just now because I was like, I'm not getting any towns. Let me just use that thing. And it seems our current city is the city to be. The amount of traders that I've passed already is just insane. But yeah, uh, our current city where we are right now, the forest city, seems to be the biggest city on the whole map. So what I'm going to do is now, I'm heading up towards that city to see if I can't just scout around it. Um, and hopefully we'll actually find more traders and stuff around it as well. And I should actually check the map render for that as well. But basically, yeah, it, it doesn't seem... Right, let me just see how big this city of here is. This, this looks like a relatively big one. Let's just see. Basically what I'm doing at the moment is because this vehicle is so bad at taking turns and stuff, I'm just driving outside the city. <laughs> So I'm driving all the way around like this, making sure that I don't hit the buildings and boulders and stuff. But I still do end up hitting like trees and stumps and animals and stuff like that. This thing just turns really, 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 really badly. Okay, so so far this town, it's not as big as ours, but the jail is here and also the corrections facility. And for those who don't know, the corrections facility is a tier 5 slash 6. So, when we need proper tier 5 and 6s, it's already here. And overall, the size of this city isn't too bad. So, I wonder if I shouldn't just come and live over here. 
It's a new area. We can just quickly go around this whole city uh, and explore some multi-traders. And I'm only going to keep the ones closest to me in a circle around the city. I'm not going to go back to all the other traders we have as well. But we do probably just first have to get all the quests done we currently have in our city because I don't want to go through all of them and cancel them. But overall, yeah, this city isn't too bad. I was actually expecting... let. Well, I wasn't expecting much from it. As you can see, it's not very big. Goes to the middle of here quickly. There is a big POI over there. Whoops. Go into this. Over there, there's a big one. Over there, there's a big one. And then obviously, like I said, there's a corrections facility and the jail as well. So those two alone make this town really, really good. Uh, stop. Damn it. This vehicle's gonna break again. I wish there was a way, uh, there was a mod that he could put on this vehicle that allows it to drive better. Because this thing is insanely fast. It's just super, super, super unwieldy. It's not bad. Look at the buildings over here. A few construction sites. A few towers as well. Yeah, I think uh, we should probably come and live in this town. Yeah, this town's definitely worth it. It's not too big, not too small. All I have to do is go around this one and find some traders. And I can even come and live in the middle of the city of here. Look at all these multi-traders over there. So basically what I need to do is drive around like this. Because as you can see, there's no... Uh, there's a trader there, there's a trader there. So all I have to do is go to about there. See on the map that there's a trader and then come down. We don't want to go too far out and go into the middle of nowhere. So we want to make sure that the, the traders are nicely hugging us. If we could go, uh, imagine every single time we have to go do uh, trade quests or hand in quests or whatever, we have to drive around the whole city. So it's actually then a good thing that this city isn't too big because, damn. At least we have the rat bike so it's nice and fast, but we'll have to mass produce, repair kits. See, look at this. Correction facilities. This alone makes this place worth it. I technically want to live in there, but the problem is because it's a tier 5 and 4, or 4 and 5, later we're definitely gonna. Oh, 5 and 6, I mean. Later, we're definitely going to have to... We're going to need it. We're going to need that POI for quest, so I can't live there because I won't be able to reset it. Okay, so let's see over here. Is that a trade or is that a building? What is this? I think it's just a small bolt. No, it's a trader. It's a trader. How many traders are here, though? Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's not morning yet. Of course. Okay. How many traders? Just the one. Trader Joel. Okay, so now we're going to go down. Let's see if we can't find some more traders. And then... Yeah, guys, next episode, we're definitely going to be facing Horde Knight. Definitely, definitely, definitely going to be facing Horde Knight. Even if I see a trader in the distance, I'm not going to go for it. I'm going to make sure it's a nice, tight-knit circle. If I'm not mistaken, I definitely saw a building over here. The city's right there, so we don't want to go too far away. Yep, there's a building over here. So we quickly want to run inside and just loot everything. I'm not going to accept... Oh, we can't run inside. I keep forgetting it's not morning yet. There's a multi-trader over here, so now we turn in a little bit. Not too much, though, because these traders aren't super close to the town. But to make sure you actually get a ton of them. Also, sometimes you drive past them without realizing, so every now and then just check the map. I mean, while I was out and about exploring, I actually passed a few traders and I didn't even realize it until I checked the map. Okay, this one over here has bears and stuff, so you have to be careful of this. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That saved me just now. <laughs> if I kept on going like that, I would have woken up all of the bears and dogs inside. It's been a while since we've seen one of these guys. Hello. I actually uh, shot him out of the air just now. Come on. Every time I seem to hit him, it does so much damage, it actually knocks him out of the sky. Okay, so, uh, let's see. There's a multi-trader over here. There's a multi-trader over there. We already have these on the map, at least. See, some of them are a little bit further away than I'd like them to be. But at the same time, this is the furthest away from the town I'll go. Like these over here. There's one in the snow over here. The only problem... Oh, look at that. You know what? I wonder if I shouldn't just live over here. 
like live right there we have four multi-traders we don't need this oh let's just see if this side also has the same amount of multi-traders i do want to actually come in the morning well it's daytime now so i could do it now but i want to go to all of these traders and just really say hi hello because we're going to be able to buy more cobble from them and then there's bound to be a one or two over here with some more books unfortunately i don't know because it might just be because they are, have trees around them i'm looking for the one that's in the floor not this one. The, the other one that's in the floor that has um, those four burnt trees around it. That's the best one when it comes to books. Because I do need one. Oh, there's a baker over there. I do need one or two more books. And unfortunately, at the moment, I would like HD books. But I haven't seen one of those in a while. I'm going to stick to this town. See, it looks so close. The, the town looks super, super far away. But on the map, these traders actually look super close to the town. Unfortunately, it's not hugging the town. That would have been even better. Keep getting stuck on stuff. Come on, come on, come on. Up you go. There you go. Okay, yeah. But if we can just find the, uh, the four burning trees in the map right now, that's going to help us. But unfortunately, I don't see any burning trees. Keep driving into stuff. I'm paying too much attention to my surroundings and not en uh, enough to where I'm going. I don't think there's any more uh, more traders and stuff here. Well, there might be, but they're going to get further and further away from the trader, basically. Or from the town. I don't want to get super, super far away from the town. I want to stick more or less close enough to it. But I think what I'm going to do... Oh, hello. Imagine that just exploded with me on it. Ooh. Yeah, one, two, three. That's too far away. One, two, three, four. I'm afraid if we do this one, it's going to give us quests to, uh, to over here, not to the town. We can go and visit it. And if it actually sends us here, then awesome. So then I can make my base right outside the city over here. Then we have access to four traders and this one over here. I think that's the plan of action. So I'm going to go back to the base. I have to drop all of this stuff off. Um, and then next episode will be the Horde Knight. So you just keep it, because this episode was a bit boring. Just me driving around and exploring. Uh, but yeah, we're definitely going to go and face the day 14 Horde Knight next time. I have to go back to the base and just see if I can do some repairs. And then, yeah, we're going to have some fun. So if you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for all this content. See you guys next time for some more Where's UK fun. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my seminars that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.